in the world of tax-free savings, there's a rising star, Innovative Finance ISAs, or IFISAs. These investment platforms allow individuals to support small and growing businesses while enjoying tax-free returns. One such platform is crowd to fund which has gained a reputation for its commitment to transparency and ethical lending. Unveiling the problem Let's dig deeper into crowd to funds unique approach to innovative finance ISAs. crowd to fund connects investors with small and growing businesses, offering an opportunity to earn attractive returns. However, as we'll discover today, even the most trusted financial institutions can sometimes make critical errors. This has left many investors asking questions, but not getting any response from the company. The Hidden Error It all began when a concerned investor noticed that for one of their investments, after a period where some repayments had been missed, the interest charge was actually less than it would have been if they'd made all the repayments in full. This was obviously incorrect, so they decided to investigate the interest calculations on all their loans. What they discovered was an error in the formula used by crowd to fund The error occurred in any situation where borrowers either missed one or more payments or made underpayments. It was found that interest was not being accrued during these periods. This error meant that many investors were receiving significantly less interest than they were entitled to. Consequences and Questions The consequences of this error were not just financial, they were ethical and legal as well. Investors who had placed their trust in crowd to fund were left feeling betrayed. As questions swirled, it became clear that an explanation was needed. But would crowd to fund own up to its mistake? We sent several emails to crowd to fund in September asking for clarification of their interest calculation methods. Finally, on 31st of October, we received an email reply from them. Unfortunately, this email did not address our concerns, so we sent another email with our detailed calculations showing what we believe the correct interest calculation should be, along with screenshots of their website showing the differences. On the 2nd of November, we received an email from crowd to funds Head of Collections and Creditor Relations asking us to Please leave it with me to follow up. Six days later, we received another email from them saying that their compliance officer would also be involved and that I hope to respond to you in full very shortly. The response. It's now two months later and we still haven't had any further response from crowd to fund This doesn't fill us with any confidence that they will be correcting this mistake in their calculations any time soon. Investors, beware. For those of you who want to know the details of what the error is, keep watching. Explanation of the error. Let's look at one of the companies available to invest in with crowd to fund We will change their name for privacy. Let's call them Company Y. Company Y wanted a loan of 1,600 over 24 months at a rate of 12%. The first mistake seems to be in calculating the monthly payments themselves. If we find a loan calculator, also known as an amortization calculator, such as this one at investopedia.com, and plug the figures in. It tells us that the monthly payments required to pay off the loan are 75.32 each month. However, crowd to fund calculated the monthly repayments to be only 74.57, which is actually an interest rate of only 11%, not 12%. If we overlook this mistake, then the payments and balance over time should look like this. With the balance and amount of interest steadily reducing month by month with each payment being made on time. But crowd to funds calculation problems occur when a company misses a payment or makes the payment late. As we can see here, after their 1st of February 2023 payment, Company Y didn't make their next payment on time. It was a month late. So that payment should have been liable to two months interest, 21 pounds and 16 pence. But crowd to fund instead only charged them 12 pounds and 26 pence, which is the amount it would have been if they had paid on time. The next payment is even worse. This time they were almost five months late. The interest due in this payment is 62 pounds and 52 pence. But once again, crowd to fund only charged them £11.65. We hope this was just a one-off mistake, 
but when we looked at other loans within Crowdfund, we saw the same error over and over. Let us know in the comments if you have had similar problems with your ISA providers.